Hey everyone, it's Mark. A few months ago, I made a video talking about how Ash should use Dynamax Z moves in Mega Evolution in the World Coronation series. That video did really well, and so here I am again talking about Ash's three battle techniques and how he might use them in the Masters tournament. Of course, some other people also thought about making videos on this topic, so be sure to check out Trayman1 and Niall Kelly's takes as well. They each approached this discussion a little differently than I did. Prior to the first battle of the Masters tournament, we were reminded of the rule that each trainer is only allowed to use one gimmick per battle, and since we know the bracket for this tournament, we can really narrow in on the three likeliest opponents for Ash, what techniques they will use, as well as what Ash will decide to use himself. So far in the World Coronation series, we have seen Ash use Z moves the least, with the only time he used them coming in his first Ultra Class battle against Valkner. In all honesty, the only Z move I think Ash will use in Journeys is going to be 10 million volt Thunderbolt, which is kind of a shame because I wish we could see his other team members pull off Z moves as well. As for Mega Evolution, Ash has only Mega Evolved Lucario once in the World Coronation series, and just twice overall. Aside from from Ash's Ultra Class battle against B, the only other time we have seen Mega Lucario was in Journeys episode 108 when he took Lucario to Kalos to do some training with Greninja. Of course, this training did help Lucario strengthen its aura bond with Ash, and this created their new super powerful aura sphere thing that may as well be a Z move or max move even though it doesn't count as one of the three battle gimmicks. Lastly, there's Dynamax, and Ash has only ever used Gigantamax specifically with his Gengar. I mean, we did see Pikachu Gigantamax back in episode 13 of Journeys, but it seems like Ash is only going to Gigantamax's Gengar from here on out. Ash has used Gigantamax Gengar to great success twice in the Ultra Class, first against Marnie and then later in his promotion match against Raihan. The second battle was especially notable to me because Ash went into the match planning on using Mega Evolution, but decided to change his strategy mid-battle and use Gigantamax to turn the tables on Raihan, and this ended up being the key moment that really won Ash the battle. This proves that Ash is willing to do whatever it takes to win the Masters tournament, well, except to use his old Pokemon, but who needs them, right? <laughs> Anyways, we know we know Ash's first round opponent is going to be Steven, so let's focus on that battle specifically. We know Steven is going to be using his Mega Metagross, so what is Ash going to use to counter it? Well, after we saw Ash and Paul's training battle in episode 114 come down to Gengar vs Metagross, it seems like we may be headed for the same finale in Ash vs Steven. That said, Ash was able to defeat Paul's Metagross with just normal Gengar, but if he's going to defeat the Mega Evolved Ace of the Champion of Hoenn, then yeah, Gengar is probably going to need a little bit of a power boost. It's interesting Interesting to note how a big part of episode 114 was Gengar learning Will-O-Wisp, which is kind of strange since it's a status move, that means it just turns into Max Guard when Gengar is Gigantamax. So don't expect Ash to win this battle with a super effective Max Flare. However, Metagross is weak to Ghost type, so Ash should be totally fine using G-Max Terror to land some super effective Max move damage. Additionally, we have seen that Gigantamax Gengar's physical transformations have held just as much as the other power boost of Pokemon receives from Dynamaxing, and that's because Ash and Gengar are able to think of some really strange strategies such as swallowing Grimmsnarl, or sucking up Raihan's Sandstorm, or even batting away Kudra with its tongue. Yeah, I don't even want to try and predict what Ash and Gengar might do against Steven, but there will probably be at least one silly moment that could only happen thanks to Gengar's Gigantamax form. Before we move on though, is Gigantamax actually Ash's best bet against Steven? Like, would it be smarter for Ash to use Mega Evolution or Z moves? Well, I don't even think Ash will be using Lucario at all in this battle, so we can probably rule out Mega Evolution. So what about Z moves? I would not be surprised at all if Ash won his first Masters Tournament battle with 10 million volt Thunderbolt. We have seen Ash defeat several Metagross in the past with Pikachu, and it seems like the first round of this tournament is going to be all about different champions ace Pokemon going at it, so maybe we're destined for a final showdown between Pikachu and Metagross. To put this discussion about Ash vs Steven to bed, I think the best choice for Ash in this battle is going to depend on how the battle progresses. If Ash is able to get down to Steven's Metagross as his last remaining Pokemon, then I actually think just blasting it with the strongest possible move is the best tactic he could use. However, if Ash is struggling against Steven's other Pokemon, then I think Gigantamax Gengar is the way to go. That way, Ash could potentially get momentum back on his side just like he did in the Raihan battle, and the side effects of Gengar's max moves will have a greater impact later in the match. Either way, whatever Ash decides to use, he's gonna win. So let's move on to the second round matchup, which is probably gonna be against Cynthia. Once again, we know that Ash's opponent is packing Mega Evolution, a little repetitive if you ask me, like did we really need to give another Masters 8 trainer Mega Evolution? In Ash's practice battle against Paul, he used Dragonite against Paul's Garchomp, and so far in Pokemon Journeys, we have not seen Dragonite use Dynamax, Z-Moves, or Mega Evolution, and I don't think that's going to change in the Masters Tournament. As cool as it would be to see Ash whip out a Dragonium Z and unleash a devastating Drake based on Dragonite's Draco Meteor, I don't think that's what is going to happen. This pretty much rules out Z-Moves for this battle entirely, since Ash would be an idiot to use 10 million volt Thunderbolt on a Garchomp. I mean, we've seen Ash skirt around game logic before when it comes to Z-Moves, but I think this one might be a step too far. 
In my opinion, Ash's best strategy for taking down Cynthia's Garchomp would be using Gigantamax Gengar. This is because Garchomp is weak to fairy type moves and four times weak to ice type attacks, two types that Gengar has in its arsenal. Well, to be fair, we don't know what move Will-O-Wisp replaced, it could have been Ice Punch or Sludge Bomb, so if Gengar doesn't know Ice Punch anymore, well then it can't use a four times super effective Max Hailstorm against Garchomp. Okay, time to rethink things. But wait, actually no, I still think Gengar is the best bet here. I mean, it KO two of Raihan's dragons by using Max Starfall. Honestly, I think if I was Ash, I would just spam that against Garchomp and hope for the best. In all honesty though, I think this is the battle that Ash is going to use Mega Evolution in. I think it's pretty likely that Lucario will be in this battle, and if Ash wants to defeat Cynthia's strongest Pokemon, well, he should probably just use his strongest Pokemon. And I think at this moment, that would be Mega Lucario. Of course, Lucario is weak to ground type attacks, but Cynthia's Garchomp Garchomp doesn't really use ground type moves that often, and we know it won't have moves like Earthquake in this battle, so Ash is probably fine. And really, since when has a type disadvantage ever slowed Ash down in journeys? Once again, I think whatever technique Ash uses in this match will be his key to victory. I could definitely see this battle ending with Mega Lucario being the last Pokemon standing, which would send Ash into the finals against Leon. Now, there's been plenty of speculation about whether or not Ash will end up using all three gimmicks in this match. Personally, I don't want to see that happen because I feel like it would make Ash look kind of weak having to use an unfair fair advantage just to match up to Leon, but it would be pretty cool to see Ash use Dynamax Z-moves and Mega Evolution all in the same battle, I can't deny that. And honestly, Ash might need to use all three if he seriously wants to take down Leon's Charizard. Like, we all saw what this thing did to Elan's Mega Charizard X, it's gonna take some effort to KO this absolute ace. Of course, Leon isn't guaranteed to Gigantamax his Charizard in this battle, we did see him Gigantamax his Rillaboom against Ash, and who knows what he'll do in the semifinals. But I think it's a pretty safe bet that we'll be seeing Gigantamax Charizard in the climactic showdown to end the Masters tournament. For the longest time, I was actually convinced that this battle we saw in episode 13 was a preview of what the finals of the Masters tournament would be, but like I mentioned earlier, we're probably not going to see Gigantamax Pikachu again. So what will we see? If you are one of those people who take everything that happens in the opening as objective fact and a look into the future, then you tell me that Ash is guaranteed to use Mega Lucario against Leon. However, the opening does not always predict the exact future, so that's far from confirmation that this battle will come down to Mega Lucario versus Gigantamax Charizard. If we are going to stick with the rule that Ash can only use one gimmick per battle, then it would make the most sense for Ash to use each of his three battle techniques once. So by that logic, if he's going to use Dynamax against Steven and Mega Evolution against Cynthia, then that leaves Z moves for Leon. And actually, that would work really well. 10 million volt Thunderbolt is super effective against Charizard, it's probably one of Ash's only moves that can realistically stand up to G-Max Wildfire, and 10 million volt Thunderbolt is the move most closely tied to Ash's status as the the Alola Champion. Also, it would be pretty fitting for the Masters Tournament to come down to Pikachu versus Charizard. It wouldn't be exactly the bookend I was expecting back in episode 13, but it would still be the same two Pokemon facing off, and if Ash is actually going to defeat the strongest trainer in the world, wouldn't it just make sense for him to do so with Pikachu? Let's at least consider the other options though. I have already recommended Gigantamax Gengar as Ash's best strategy against Steven and Cynthia, but I don't think that's his best course of action against Leon. I mean, hey, it might be. Like, if this was a 6v6 battle, then he could take down multiple Pokemon with Gigantamax Gengar. That would be a huge swing in momentum in Ash's favor. However, this is the final battle we're talking about here. Even though Journeys has done a good job using these gimmicks sporadically throughout different periods of battles leading up to this point, I can't see Ash and Leon using their battle techniques at any time except the final showdown in this battle. What if the opening is showing us a glimpse into the future, and Mega Lucario will be Ash's last Pokemon standing against Leon? I think that's a totally plausible scenario, and before, I mentioned how 10 million volt Thunderbolt is one of the strongest moves that Ash can use. Well, the only other one I would put in the same category would be Lucario's new G-Max Aura Sphere thing. That could definitely take down Leon's Charizard. Just going back to what I said before, I think Ash will use each of his battle techniques once, so whatever gimmick he hasn't used yet is probably what he'll use against Leon. Well, unless Ash is allowed to use all three in this battle, in which case this discussion is totally irrelevant. Hopefully you did not find this discussion video totally irrelevant. If you did enjoy it, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel channel, and feel free to join my Discord server, where we'll be discussing the Masters Tournament all throughout the next few months. The link to join is down in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.